here's an issue for the Democrats, guns. Mm -hmm. We had a terrible shooting this week. We're talking about Bobby Kennedy. It's always with us, this, because we are a unique country with, right. with the gun. And when you yell at the gun nuts for being gun nuts, they just say, wait a second, I'm not a nut. I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. I think it's a follow-the-money kind of thing. I'm sorry. No, tell me the solution, because that's what I'm wondering. I don't have a solution, but I do have this. You know, when, when uh, every time a, a plane crash happens, flight, air travel gets safer. Because yes, we learn size. from every mistake that happened and we make sure it doesn't get yeah. repeated. And that's not happening with um, mass shootings. And it's because the, I believe, uh, just I'm just a Hollywood uh, liberal person, um, elitist, that the yeah. NRA, I'm an elitist, the NRA needs people to be divided. I don't think we are divided. I, I grew up with gun owners. I, uh, I grew up, we learned how to clean sure. a gun at camp in New Hampshire, you know? Um, people hunt, people want to protect their homes. No one wants to take your guns away. The NRA very much wants people to believe that liberals want to take their guns away. I don't think anyone wants to take your guns we away. We want to make it safer. We want to make it harder for people who escape mental institutions right. to get an automatic weapon. We need to... I don't think anyone can I suggest something? Yes, that. please do. That one thing that would reduce a lot of gun violence in this country is if we followed the Canadian example. Now, what we know is, is that 99.9% .9 of mass shootings are committed by one gender. I'm not going to name the gender. <laughs> Right. But generally, when I was watching CNN at 1.30 in the morning in sure. Las Vegas night, uh, they didn't know who was up there, but they were already calling him a gunman. So they knew the gender, because women don't go to the top of buildings and spray 20,000 people with bullets. Someday. Right. Someday we're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> You can have that one. Oh, that's a but good. in Canada, in, <laughs> in Canada has greatly reduced their domestic gun violence by they require if you want to buy a handgun in Canada, you have to get and this is essentially directed at men. You have to get a waiver from your wife, from your most recent ex-wife, and it says anyone you're in a conjugal relationship with has to sign off on this before you get a gun. That's brilliant. Isn't that way? It's and, you know, we, yes. It can, makes can I there's a reason for it. It makes sense. One other thing into the mix, though, this guy, the exact opposite. I mean, at every step of the way, he was triply disqualified from buying a gun. Assault on the wife, assault yeah. on the son, yep. court martial. The Air Force did not report his convictions right. to the National Crime Information Center. And my point is that. You can make all the laws you want. Yeah. I don't think America is any more a country with a lot of competence in the workplace. I notice it just in my life. If, you, if one worker has to tell another worker a piece of information or communicate something, it just doesn't happen a lot of the time. They're on their phone, they're stoned, they're distracted. They're... I don't blame them for being unmotivated. Most of these jobs are shitty and boring. But right. I wouldn't depend... That, I mean, that's what stuck out about this guy, is that... Every red flag went up, and it just... Sorry, we just didn't... Yeah, I know we were supposed to bring that over to this guy, and it just didn't happen. Our, um, our, our American flag should just be a red flag at this point. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> but that's China's flag and Russia. All right, you took that very literally. I was just saying <laughs> a red flag. I was making oh, a joke I see on your... Oh, flag. Jesus. Like we can cut to... this out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, right. it never stops. I, they'll cut but, it out when they rerun the yeah, show. They, <laughs> yeah. You know, we're going to argue about it here. And it's not, you know, I thought in the 60s when everybody got shot, the Kennedys and King got shot, I, I wrote my congressman only time in my life because Johnny Carson, your hero, said, write your congressman. Wow. And what happened, you know? And Kennedy had spent, Bobby had spent the last week of his life railing against guns and saying you can't get mail order guns like the one that killed my brother. And crazy people, and people, criminals shouldn't get guns. And but this argument that Trump said the other day, thank God somebody else had a gun. The trouble with that is, yeah, if that somebody else had been cleared, if that wasn't somebody who wasn't crazy, if somebody wasn't a felon, if they were a good Samaritan, why don't we just let those people have the guns? And that's the argument. It's an insane argument. If more people have guns, it depends who they are. New rules, everybody. I got it. <laughs>